<laughs> I love video games. Um, I don't have the time to play them all the time, but when I do, I love the immersive world of video games. It's like being in your own movie, and you're the director. Assassin's Creed is really cool because it takes the best of the worlds that I love. I love action, I love history, and so when you get a chance to go back in time and actually explore these worlds, it's pretty amazing. Straight Outta Compton was a film that was on my radar and I thought about, you know, maybe Gary would be interested in telling an old school period piece through a West Coast lens. The first day I met with Colin and Matt, it felt like a bunch of friends getting together and said, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? Wouldn't it be cool if we did this? And we met for hours and we went over the storyboards and we went over the script, talked about what we wanted. We talked about the feel and the look and the emotion and what imagery would give you that gangster kind of thing. And then Pop took it and blew it out. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. Graphically, you know, as an artist, I've always been drawn to games. The amount of detail that the developers have put into the game, the color palettes, I mean, so rich, so vibrant, you know, just everything about the graphics of, of the game has been just phenomenal. Pop not only took what we were thinking, but he improved upon it and it just floored me. One of the things I've loved about Gary's work has always been the way he does action sequences. The scenes that we're doing here has really allowed me to, to play off of my strengths as a you know an energetic comic book artist. I've worked with Mark for about a year now, um, and we have a, a I think we have a synergy. So whenever I'm doing shots that calls for a specific mood, I can always rely on the fact that Mark will you know hit it on the on the on the head every time. It's it's good to have someone who you collaborate with that you can trust. You know, is he going to be there and, you know, do, do what he needs to do and then you can uh, elaborate on what he's put down on paper and bring it to life and, you know, just, just add your you know, you know, touch to it. One of the opening shots where we finally reveal Jacob at E. It's the first time we really see Jacob and his face and, and his detail. You know, I kind of let more of myself into it and uh, I, I'm really happy with, with the way it turned out. Then you take the 3D animation and give it that depth and now you feel like you're in a world add sound and sound effects, and it feels like a movie. The whole story in the editing process really revolves around the voice, I find. And if you have a really good actor that gives a really good performance, it makes our job easier. A man who stole what he wanted from those who had nothing. But there was one thing he would never receive. Mercy. Having been a huge fan of you know, Assassin's Creed way from the beginning, um, I've always wanted to be a part of the, the mythos. It's been a really exciting project for me to work on. To read about it is one thing, but to be transported and immersed in this era, the Industrial Revolution, 1868, with these characters, and then have fun with a little bit of gangsterism, that is the game I want to play. Assassin's Creed Syndicate.